All right, so today um, I'm going to show you how to go from story mode and polish a few things with the, with your story. I'll show you a couple of uh, techniques uh, using layers, uh, using good old-fashioned deleting keys on the timeline, and uh, some IK stuff too. Uh, I can show you how to work with the feet uh, if they're sliding. Uh, quite a bit. Um, yeah, layers, deleting keys, IK, and layers again. So first thing, um, as you're all working now, you're in story mode. So if I take off story mode, everybody's in typos. So how do you go from story mode to Right, all your clips are here. So how do you go from story mode to timeline? Because there's no keys. If you select the Gremlin now or the Groot, Groot, see there's no keys here, so you can't do any editing. So the way to do it is super simple. You make sure you select your character one by one. You make sure you're in full body. You select the piece. I don't think you need to select it, but select it anyway. And then in key control here, you go animation plot selected. Okay. So it takes all these clips and bakes it on the timeline. So now, see, my keys are here. If you see no keys, and you see this thing here, too many keys to choose from, it's probably your timeline is, is it will be huge because it's uh, it's one minute, so you, for sure you get anything over 300 keys, you're probably gonna get this, so don't panic that you didn't get keys, it's probably too many and it's not showing. I'm just gonna change from time code to frames. We do the same with the Gremlin. Animation, plot selected. And then now we're ready to deactivate uh, story. So now the T poses are gone. And we have all the keys on on the characters. Okay, so I'll save this. Uh, part two, let's see, polish. Okay. Oh, week, uh, let's put the right week. It's week nine, week 14. Okay, so actually I'll show you a bit of F-curves as well, if there's time left. Um, so what's the first thing? Um, normally I would go for uh, deleting keys first and then do layers. Okay, this way you're not fighting layers and, uh, layers and deleting keys on the base. Uh, so I would uh, do this one first. So wh wherever you can, if there's major pops in your motion, I would just delete. Sorry, guys. I would just delete. Try to delete, anyways. Uh, what's uh, what's not needed. In the in this scene, okay. Uh, in this case, I want to clean up this this pop here. Um, so I don't think I, I think I need to delete. Uh, okay, one second before before moving forward. If you have 
still shots like not animated like this one is animated oh, not this one this one is animated that's fine if you have still shots in your scene make sure you at least you key it because sometimes by mistake you're gonna move it and if there's no key on the camera you will move it permanently okay so um, just make sure I'll, I'll put a key on this one so like for example here see I'm in I'm in the last shot which is this one no, not this one, this one. Okay, so if I move this one in the camera switcher, I'm in the camera switch. See, I'm moving the camera as well. And I, it, does, it doesn't come back if there's no key. Okay, so just, just put a little key. Okay, so now if I move it by mistake and I, Okay, you need to put a key on the interest as well. Okay. I forgot to mention this uh, end class. Just frame it a little bit better. Okay, so now there's a key on the camera and a key on the interest. And same thing with this one. Oh, where's the key one? Okay. So back to the last shot. So now if I move this, right, I'm moving camera two, but if I scrub back, it's going to snap back to the key. So still shots, put a key regardless so this way you don't move it by mistake in case you rotate inside the camera switch okay so now back to back to this section um, you have a choice of two things here you can either delete keys on body part or body part like per limb or full body so imagine, imagine in here there was just the, the arm, the arm snapping. Okay, so you would go uh, body part and just delete the keys. See, I'll delete the keys where the transition is happening. I'll just delete the keys on the arm. But in this case, the whole body is popping. Okay, see. It's not enough. So you have the choice of deleting keys, cleaning up the keys, either in body part or full body. In my case, it's going to be full body. So I'll just go from, starts popping here. I'll delete this key. Normally, I delete about five, fr <coughs> five frames. So like, a key on let's say frame 10 frame 10 and then if it's popping a lot I delete five keys or four keys after and I keep frame 15 so keep that five five number uh, consistent okay so he is he is kind of moving up a little bit um, so we can try to fix it by let's see what happens now. Okay, maybe move move the whole move it on a layer. So we kind of cleaned it up a little bit with uh, deleting the keys. It's a little bit smoother. Um, forgot another thing. So let me delete. forgot to duplicate the take okay so one thing to keep in handy and uh, it's uh, convenient in motion builder 
is their steaks okay so you baked from story to to the timeline before starting to edit just duplicate the take okay so just as a backup so in case something happens you delete it too much or you want to compare to the raw version of story mode uh, you have your backup on take one okay uh, sorry I should have done that in the beginning so again let's try to delete a couple of frames here so 190 to 196 so that's about five frames uh, he's still moving up quite a bit so let's we can fix that easily on a layer so I'm gonna create a layer but you can still you can see the difference okay so I'll just scrub back you can see the see the big difference by just deleting keys how you smooth it oh it is why yeah no Oh yeah, it's uh, I have the little thing. Oh, maybe I didn't put the shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. You're right, but no, you know, no problem. I don't use the zoom, uh, zoom record. I use like a, my little own little software to record. That's why it's probably if it didn't say zoom record, it's because I don't use zoom. I use something else. Okay, so um, I'm going to create a layer and either move this part up or this part down. Okay, so always name your layers uh, because if you create too many layers, and at the end, you're kind of confused. What's this layer? What's that layer? It's just easier to to name to name them, just to be uh, more organized to which layer is to what character. One layer can have more than one character uh, adjustments or keys. So it's not like Maya, where one layer is one per one object selected. Uh, it's a bit different in Motion Builder. So one one layer can uh, contain many objects uh, in it. Okay. So I'll name this, uh, let's say, body fix. Okay. So so he starts moving up here. Um, so it's pretty flat on the floor. So I think I'll keep this key and just change the, the key where he turns. So just modify it. Okay, right here, right on this one. So you can kind of go back and forth between the layer and the base layer to see where you want to put your key. So I'm going to put a key here. Um, you can keep it at auto, but I have a better suggestion is switch to linear. Because if you keep it at auto, what happens is if you put keys, it might overshoot between the keys. So you're going to get a little whoop on the, on the body. Uh, with linear, it doesn't overshoot. Okay, so uh, switch your type of keys to linear, and then I think it's in here. Yeah. So here he's at the new position. So I'm just gonna bring it full body release spinning because his feet are pinned, and just bring it down a little bit. To see it. 
See, now he's at the same level. And there's no more pops. Let's preview that. So it's kind of moving. It's kind of moving forward too. So I would bring him back a little bit into the right. To see if it's going to improve the motion. So it's, it's better, it doesn't have to be perfect, again, as long as the timing is there. Um, so we can, add, uh, we can add some delay on the head, kind of keyframe the head better so that he he's looking he's leading with his head okay so let's try that in here he's kind of fully turned his head so what we can do we can rotate the head here even more to lead with the head so it's kind of continuous so see because when you turn you always lead with the head, right? Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Uh, the feet need touch up a little bit. They kind of are snap because they're in the the line camera sight. They kind of snapping. See, so that could be fixed as well. Let's see if we. Oh, he doesn't have toes. Okay. We'll have to kind of eyeball it. Well, it's mostly this leg, the other leg that's facing the camera, right? Yeah, it's this one. This is the problem. Um, because I have release spinning on, it kind of goes a little bit. So I just want to fix the transition, right, from here to here. And then after, when he is in this shot, I want to leave everything as is. So what do I do? I can zero out here. After he's fully turned, zero out. Bring it back to whatever it was on the base layer. Uh, or zero out full body, might, that might be a better option because right now what I just zeroed out, I just zeroed out on the body part while I need a full body zero. Oh no, that's a bad idea because now the height is all messed up. Okay. So the reason I adjusted the height is to bring all the motion down. So I'm going to keep that uh, throughout. Okay. It still looks fine here, so just be careful on the next shot, it doesn't mess up your your next shot. Okay, If you're fixing something in one shot, and you go to the next shot and it's really messed up, just use the zero key, okay, like this, to 
you can just zero out what it was originally on the base layer. Okay. In this case, I'm going to keep it because it does, still doesn't look that bad. So the zero key on a layer is your friend. kind of slides, I don't like that. It could have been fixed in story mode better. But the timing is not too bad. It's, uh, the transition could be better, but it's still way better than the original. Okay. The pop. Um, what else? I'm going to fix the, the hand on the crate. Um, I can use the same layer or uh, yeah, it's okay, we can use the same layer. This way we don't create too many layers and it's gonna get uh, really confusing. Maybe you can split it by character. I'll leave it up to you. It's not really a big deal how you split it. If you want to stay organized, keep it uh, keep it all in one layer. Um, so in here, <coughs> excuse me. In here, I'm just fixing the the arm. Okay. So I don't need to key and full body, right? Um, so I'm switching the body part. Select the hand. Uh, it's kind of floating a bit like the rotation is messed up so I'm gonna pin the rotation so now when I raise it up it stays flat as before and I'm gonna move it so that it's uh, flat on the on the crate okay Rotation a little bit and local, always rotation and local. And voila. So we don't care what's what's going on here. It's it's he's kind of floating right here, right? So the the rest pose has changed. Okay. But because it's off camera, I, re I really don't care. If it was on camera, you would have to fix this. Okay. But anyways, we start with him on this shot, so we should break it. So what's happening here is his hand is now off. It's because it's not sharing the same offset as this pose. Okay. So what I'm going to do, so here, as soon as it starts leaving the crate, I'm going to take this key that I just did, copy, paste. So what it what it will do, it will copy the same offsets and put them here. Okay, so it will kind of lock it down. It's not perfect, it's still floating, but we can fix that easily. At least it's in a closer position. What I can do, I can just position and just move it closer to the crate as he's pushing up. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. See, it's totally like seven, and now it's dropped to his waist. Okay. So, uh, hand on crate fixed. I'm gonna do the fingers. So, I touched up, I fixed up the jerks. Uh, I touched the penetration with the box. So now if you guys want, you could leave the fingers till the end, right? That's not a big deal, but quick posing on the fingers. One pose is enough. Unless, like I said previously, if you have um, if you have a close-up of an animated prop like he's picking up something. Would be nice to get that 
detail, right? Yeah, like open the thing, animate the fingers as he's grabbing the object and picking it up. Only if it's a close-up. Okay, but in this case, there's now no props in my scene, so it's totally fine. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna select the IK effectors. What you can do, you can select them. You can multiple select. Don't select the thumb because it has a different rotation. So select all fingers. Make sure you're in local. And then rotate. Okay, all together. So he's he's in the box. Uh, so just try to wrap it as much as possible, or give it a natural natural pose. Okay. Um, in the case of the other hand. Um, we can do something similar. Right. You can offset them a little bit. Maybe the pinky is a little bit more curled. I don't know, have fun with it. Uh, depending on your character, you might have some weird skinning. So do the best you can. It's not uh, the end of the world, but um, at least um, <clears throat> At least don't don't give me don't give me uh, the, those those T pose fingers. I'm just gonna freeze the mesh because I keep I keep selecting it. Go like go keys. Uh, <clears throat> if you wanna. If the end effector is not enough for you, you want a, a better deformation on the on the finger. Uh, go in <coughs> X-ray mode and select the the joints, the FK joints. Okay. Usually the top one is the most annoying one to get a better thumb position. Okay, uh, a quick shortcut to go down the chain is Alt plus down or up. So if I go down, Alt plus down key, you go down the chain of the FK bones. Okay. See, I'm selecting all those. Uh, I know you can't really see, but I'm selecting these FK joints here. See? Yeah, he has some really bad skin, so uh, do the best you can. It's, it's still gonna be better than than this. Okay, so uh, let's see again what do we got here. On Gru, I think Golix is good. Uh, we can uh, we can fix uh, the gremlin even though his feet are not in the shot. Uh, I'm still gonna show you how to fix uh, the sliding feet. If you have a lot of shots with feet and uh, feet sliding, I'll show you how to fix it. So 
So we'll switch to Gremlin. Uh, if you want to zoom on the selected character, you just select all the pieces by, by clicking on the uh, empty space. And then you press F in the viewport. So you, you kind of zoom on the selected control rig. Okay. Um, sliding feet. So in here, so he can um, he can have the same treatment as uh, Golik's. Uh, we can fix his uh, fingers as well. Sometimes you'll be able to copy paste uh, the pose, let's say from uh, one character to the other. Actually, let's try it. If you're super lazy, um, you can create a pose for Golix, and then in Gremlin, Oh, we're still on the fingers layer, body part, and we can try to paste the Golix finger pose on the Gremlin. It might work. Look at that. So we just use the same pose from Golix. It kind of works. It's not perfect but it's better than the T-Pose, right? Uh, you can paste it on both fingers at the same time because they are both considered one body part. Uh, be careful how much curl on the on certain characters because if you put too much curl they might pass through the feet yeah see like here in this case it's not that bad it's well in this case we don't see it on camera so technically it's not a it's not an issue for me uh, but uh, be careful how much rotation you, you can minimize it by let's see if we can do this can bring it in a little bit more or you might have to rotate the hand a little bit like this okay okay let's go back on the feet um, so in this case his feet are uh, we'll focus on this part yeah I'm gonna zoom in on the selected um, on that selected timeline I'll show you how to deal with feet and this the, the toes the toes is easy the toes is just another layer and fix the floor penetration but how do you how do we fix this I hopefully it's got a toe bone okay perfect so it's easier if you have a toe bone because what happens is you can use this toe bone to pivot off of it using the IK okay how do we do this uh, you'll have to do this on the it's easier to do it on the base layer because you need to be able to select the keys and set them to previous or next key. I'll explain. So, uh, so I switch the base to the base. I make sure that I'm on body part because I just want to uh, tweak the the body part of which is the foot. So in here, I want to be able to the kind of he kind of lands okay here, but the rotation is a little bit off. 
So what do I do? I'm going to try to take these keys where he's sliding. So let's say midpoint, mid slide. And make that, let's say key 99. Make that my reference my reference key and make the previous keys and the next keys uh, kind of align on, on frame 99 as reference. Okay, so I'll start with the previous keys. So just to make it flush, let's say 100, it's going to be easier. Okay, so I'll select 99 up until he starts planting, which is he finishes planting. So from 99 to 96. So 100 is our reference. Select the keys, right click, and then in here you have two options. You have copy previous key, previous keys here, on selected IK objects. So you're telling these keys to follow this key. So we don't want that, we want the next one. So you want to copy next key which is the hundred using you have two options you can copy the translation and rotation or you can copy translation only or you can copy rotation only so what do we want to do here is we want to copy we're going to try just position first so let's try position so copy next key only position of next key So see now, look at the, the marker or the translation marker, okay? So now, it doesn't move. It still rotates, which is kind of okay because usually when you're planting and rotating, you're kind of pivoting off your the ball of your foot, which is the middle of your foot, okay? So you're kind of doing this. It doesn't look that bad, right? It's, it's way better than... See, now you can we can compare to before. See, before it was like, ooh, look at that. It's sliding all over the place. So, um, it's not bad. We can keep it. Now we need to fix uh, the next ones. So, let's try... 101, 2, where does he take off? He starts taking off around 108. So let's try that. So in this case, we want the previous one, which is the 100 before 101. So There is a problem with the hips here, right? We need to fix the hips as well. It's not just the feet, but it's okay. It's still still a lot of a lot of work to fix the hip. Uh, which one? I don't I don't have a lot of time. To, uh, you could just take take the hips in story. Uh, sorry, and the F curves and try to fix it as well. But at least you know how to fix the the feet. So here, he's, because we moved the position of um, 108, right? Or we can just, uh, we can mute the layer because we're on the base layer. So you need to switch to the original take. So he's kind of sliding here. So what, we could just delete some keys to make it a little bit smoother. Okay. And you can either fix this on a layer or yeah, it's probably better on a layer because Let's see. 
Yep, it's probably better to fix it on the layer because there's a lot of uh, frames. There's a lot of frames that you need to keep. Okay, so after you're done your IK pass. Um, so here it's in a good position. Here too, we don't want to touch it. Where do we want to modify? We want to modify this. So we can do a little rotation and maybe lift it up a little bit. Always a combination of position and rotation is good. Uh, the toe might need some uh, work. So the toe is considered a body part with the foot, so you can key that. So here, see it's kind of snapping, so you just need to key a little bit of the rotation. See now it's a lot cleaner. Cleanerish. So if you want to compare what it looked like before, slidey, it pops, like you see the difference, right? So again, um, you don't have to do this. I mean, first try to hide. I know it's a lot of work. You guys probably don't have time towards the end. Uh, but uh, it first try to hide it with the camera so you don't see the feet. That's probably the most amount of work uh, for the feet you'll have to do. Um, but, and again, one or two shots is acceptable. But if you can hide it with the camera, with like a, what I did here, you know, like he's, we, we don't really need to see the feet. Try to hide it and you don't have to worry about feet sliding. Um, do we cover everything? Yeah, arm penetration, sliding feet. Pops on the body, mitten fingers, cameras, motion, lights. So the lights, I gave you um, tutorial last week. Sound effects is really easy. You just need to drop in the wave file. VFX, I gave you one last week. And props, we did that already. Anything anything else you guys wanna, you want me to show you? Uh, before we break and do dailies.